I am Sarah Kasim from Bompa. Welcome to Bompa Learn today. <laughs> so you have successfully uploaded your products on your Bompa store and even gone on to start making sales. Today you want to customize your Bompa store. Come with me, I will show you in detail how you need to do that. So from my page here, you can see that this is my Bompa store. What you need to do is click on more so you can see this more icon yes that's what you need to click on click on more and you come on customize your store if you are a paid merchant that's you on either the pro plan or the standard plan you have access to this bumper new but if not if you're free you have access to only this that is why you need to come on the paid plan so that you can have access to so many things and even how to customize your website to suit your brand taste and even your brand function what you need to do after that is click on customize storefront so you can see at my cousin i'm showing you where that is you know how to get here open your store click on more when you click on more it automatically takes you to this page and then you click on store customization guys before you go on one first advice is read this this is saying upload store banner and this is the recommendation if you if your picture is not in this size you can use all of those picture editing tools to fix this in this banner or in this size because that's the only way that it will be standardized for your image to show on your store if i click on this and i show in black it was intentional for me because i wanted it to be plain so that whatever text that i write on my store banner or my about or whatever it is i put on my store would not be distracting my store banner that is why i just uploaded a plain image but you can upload your own banner your own logo and so on next thing that we would like to do is click on store team here you can see there are about eight this is green red yellow brown purple coral blue so as you see as i'm clicking it is changing the color and this is how it will look like the preview here is how it looks like when you do you click on apply the next thing that you i did here is click on banner so this banner this is why i made my text plain my picture here plain so you write shopper bugazi or whatever it is you want to write there and then you put that and save next thing is you're going to be clicking on the newsletter pop-up so if I, you can see from this newsletter pop up what that means is if you want to build your community you want to build your customer base or even just want to take customers through a cycle that they don't necessarily have to buy from you immediately what this does for you is you can have them in your email list and you can interact with them engage with them send them messages send them new in send just just send them things about what it is that you and your brand are currently up to and just getting people to know you and your brand the next thing here is social media link so you can see added is whatsapp fill the link as it's been asked whatsapp instagram facebook and twitter and then you save next is about us session my about us is empty and that was intentional because I already had right. Well, you can write anything that you like people to know about your brand, if whatever it is you're located, or so many other things. If you're women led, if you are supporting women, if you're just like supporting SDG goals, whatever it is that you like people to know. Also, return policy. This is very important as small business owners. You want to have that was your return policy. Like, would you say, oh, when you return a product after four days without defect, you have access to get your money. That's your refund back or stock credit. Whatever your store refund credit and policy is please fix it in this page and you see it will appear at the footer of your brand the next thing is how you want your product to be listed on your online store that is your website so is it latest product first is it lowest product to highest price is it highest sale to lower sale whatever that is for you you can do that and next is you will save it from my own you can see my return policy is turned off it was intentional when you click on save when i clicked on my website it's taking me here so that i will show you how it looks like on the website so you can see the about page the store banner you can see why i put it plain so that it's not distracting whatever text if it was a banner at the end it would be distracting and then your pop up my pop up is not showing because i've exited it then the about us when you click on it here contact us and so on and so forth so however it is that you want to write so when i click on my twitter all of the icons for the social media whatsapp twitter facebook and so on and so forth when i click and look at this banner here 
yeah, you see, processing time. So all of these things, you're maximizing it to make sure that your customers have the best experience shopping on your bumper store, which is your website. So when that is done and dusted, that is the end. And I really, really, really hope that this video was useful for you. I would advise that you go through our bumper lane directory and just check in what it is that we have. Till I see you again, make sure that you give us a thumbs up if you liked this video. Mm -hmm.